Hello everyone and welcome back to Kilohertz. Uh, in this video I will talk about the famous piezo buzzer. Uh, it's those little buzzers that we have in here. Uh, they come in different shapes. Some of them are flat like the one you have in the greeting cards and other ones are big and like the ones I have in here they're small and cylindrical in shape. Uh, they come in different shapes and sizes as I, as, as I said before but they all have one thing in common is that they are annoying because they produce a very annoying noise and they're, they're very common in printers and in computers. The one I have here it's known to be the YHE12-05 uh, they're rated for about 5 volts and they can operate between 4 and 8 volts as well as uh, 5 volts as I said before and they're very good at about 30 milliamps. The resonant frequency is give and take 2300 hertz uh, and operate very well between minus 20 and 70 degrees centigrade, which is, I believe, the normal for uh, electronic pieces. And they're polarized. So if you look closely, most of them in here, they have a longer lead. The longer lead is the positive one. The ones that they're not polarized, they actually you can actually see um, the positive pin identified in here. Uh, and uh, the way they work actually is like they have two discs inside them and they are flat against one another. And the minute we have electricity thrown through the leads in here, they start vibrating and sound come out when they vibrate. And we can control the sound by changing the frequency that we program through an Arduino, for example. Uh, let me show you for uh, a little sketch that uh, I have picked up from somewhere. Uh, this is just like an alarm, for example. I have this one already hooked up. As I said, annoying voice. Another one in here. It's another kind of alarm that you can uh, also. This will wake you up in the morning. At some point also you can program some songs into them, I mean, don't expect much in the sense of uh, good quality, but you can recognize some of the songs in here. That's another famous one I picked up off the internet as well. There you go. Alright, so in short, what I like about them is the fact that they are very cheap. You can actually pick up over 10 of those for under $1.50. Uh, there's a lot of sites that has tones that you can pick up on the internet that you can just plug it into Arduino and upload just like I did right now. Uh, the sound quality is bad, uh, but hey, uh, it's what can we do? You know, it's not that bad. You're not talking here about a speaker sound; it's just a buzzard. Uh, but they're great as alarms, and um, and to draw your attention in case something goes wrong. If you program in such a way that if the mistake happens, they can beep. Uh, they will definitely, uh, you know, get, get your attention. One more thing, because I'm going to leave you with this before uh, I end the video. The ones I've ordered, they came in with this little sticker that says, Remove Seal After Washing. Yeah, I fell off my chair the minute I saw that, to be honest with you. But then I had to look up and find out what is this all about. And uh, what I noticed is, apparently, uh, they ship them to you and there are certain solvents that you can use in order to clean them to get rid of the flux and the solder that's excess in there that if you want you to use it uh, but yeah I, f I rela relax after I read that but I mean the minute I saw this I was like really you actually wash these things I wasn't aware all right then well uh, that's it it's a short and sweet video uh wish you uh, good luck and uh, thank you for watching and until next time stay safe and keep making